Anthony, it's Russ. Today we're talking supplements, specifically we're talking beta alanine. Jack on the website asks Russ, is beta alanine safe? Is it worth taking? And will it make any difference to my workouts if I do? Well, Jack, if you've used a pre-workout, you've already used beta alanine. Seriously, it's in almost every single one. It's like, uh, it's the supplement equivalent of Adam Sandler. It's in everything. <laughs> In terms of safety, yeah, it's an essential amino acid, okay, it's, it's produced in the liver, it's already inside your body, whether you're using it or not as a supplement, and you'll also find it in several foods like meat and poultry, so you're good to go in terms of safety, it's nothing illegal, and benefits wise, we're talking muscular endurance, okay, by supplementing before a workout, it's been shown that it'll boost your muscular endurance. What does that mean? Well, you'll be able to perform slightly more reps or train slightly harder for slightly longer. Okay, One useful study uh, where they used boxers as the test group, um, they noticed that beta alanine was able to increase their punching power in the last 10 seconds of a round, which is particularly useful in that sport. In gym settings, um, there was a useful one done where they used barbell squats and the groups increased their uh, capability to perform more reps by 25% versus a test group that were using a placebo. You can never say that word. So yeah, beta alanine is useful for making you train slightly harder for slightly longer. Very useful to use as a pre-workout. Works particularly well with creatine as well. A lot of my clients have reported good results when supplementing with both. Um, the main thing though that you're going to notice, right, aside from the benefits, the main thing you're going to notice is beta alanine, in terms of a pre-workout, is the ingredient that makes your skin feel like you've got loads of fire ants crawling all over you. <laughs> you know when you're like, <laughs> like that. That's what beta alanine is, that, that's doing it, that's giving you those tingles. However, that is subjective, okay? The benefits to beta alanine will still kick in, but you're only gonna feel that tingliness until your body adapts to that dosage. Once it's adapted, the only way to get that tingliness back is to increase the dosage. Whether you need to do that depends on whether you're still getting the muscular endurance benefits or not. Okay, um, I recommend starting with about one gram. That'll be enough to, you know, kickstart your workouts. Once you've adapted to that, go up 1.5. Once you're beyond two, really, you know, you don't want to be supplementing with like tons. So once you get to two and you can handle that, I recommend just sticking at that and continue using it. Um, if you have a cycle it out of your pre-workout, you'll notice that when you go back on it, you get those tingles again because your body's forgotten about it, okay? It's, it's, it's adapted to not having it. So, and that's how it works. Uh, that's beta alanine. Yes, it's useful. No, it's not gonna make the difference between a, you know, a great workout and a shit workout. Um, but then again, nothing is. <laughs> I hope this helps you. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Cheers, bye-bye. Hey, I'm Amanda Leifer from Team GB. Check out the workouts from yourself. Peace out.